Hey friends, do you know what is retain cycle and memory leaks in Swift? If you don't know, please consider subscribing my channel and watch this video till the end. So guys, memory leaks is a portion of memory that is occupied forever and never used again. It is like a garbage that takes space and causes problems. So these leaks also introduce some unwanted side effects and crashes. These leaks are more likely to be introduced by us in our code. The very first reason for this is retain cycles. So what is retain cycle? To understand retain cycle, let's jump right into our Xcode project. So guys, as you can see here, I have taken two instances. The first one is class person in which I have taken two objects. The first one is constant name that is of type string and the other one is variable book that is of type book and which is optional that that means that person could have that book or could be nil that person could not have that book all right the second instance is book that is class book and the objects i have taken in this class is the first one is name that is a string and the other one is owner this book could have an owner or could not have an owner all right the second part is that i have taken these two objects the first one is man the other one is book the man type is of type instance person which could be uh, you know, I have not yet initiated man. That's why I have taken it as optional. And the other one is book. The same thing goes to goes to book. Okay. Now let's see how does retain cycles work. So to make you understand that, let's take let's give some value and initialize man. Let's take it as man is equals to person, and I'll write like this. Let's give it a name. So person and yeah. Okay. Now I'll give it a name. I'll give it a name as Mayank and for now I will not give any value for book. So let's initialize the other object as well and I will give it book name value. The name value that I will give it would be. So let's initialize this other object called book and I'll give it a uh, value book and the name for this book would be the brave. You can give it any name you want. And the owner will be nil for now. I'll now I'll try to deinitialize this instance called person by you know breaking that strong reference from man to person. And how I'll do that? I'll make the value of man equals to nil, which will result in deinitializing this instance called person. So here you can see, firstly I initialize both of them. So my ink is being deinitialized uh, and uh, book name the brave is being initialized. And by writing man equals to nil, I deinitialize the instance called person from the memory. And by writing book equals to nil, the book, the brave, will also get deinitialized from the memory. So this is an ideal case in which no problem is occurring, no crash, nothing, no side effects. But what if I give a value for man dot book? man dot book equals to this object called book okay and for the book i will give it a owner and the owner would be this man and now if i want to deinitialize any of the instance be it person or book from the memory let's say man equals to nil and let's also say book is also equals to nil so none of the instance would be deinitialized from the memory and knock knock what is the update let me tell you now the case is this man is strongly referring towards this instance called person this book is strongly referring to this instance called book and also now this man dot book that means this person is also referring towards this instance called book and this book this book is also referring strongly referring towards this instance called person now i would like to tell you that we have finally formed a retain cycle in which these objects are taking a strong ownership of the other instance they would not let us deinitialize deinitialize the other instance because they are taking the complete ownership of the other instance as we can see in the case of person this person is taking complete ownership of this instance called book and it would not, it would not allow us to deinitialize this instance called book from the memory 
as same same case goes with the book it will not let us deinitialize the instance person from the memory so to make this happen to make this uh, deinitializing part happen what we need to do is we need to make the strong reference a weak reference and how we will do that we will make one of the object in our instance as a weak object so i'll take it as weak okay and in this instance called book i'll take this owner as weak now by doing this what i have done is this person is still referring towards this instance called book but in a weak manner now it will not take the complete ownership of this instance called book and it will let us deinitialize this instance called book and the same goes with this book this book is is still referring towards person but not taking the complete ownership of this instance called person and will let us deinitialize this instance called person from the memory so that's how we break this retain cycle and there is one more way to break this cycle and which is unowned variable and the only difference between unowned variable and this weak variable is that a weak variable could be optional that is it could be nil but an unowned variable could never be nil so that's why i have taken weak here because i have taken book as optional so it could be nil so here that's why i have not taken unowned variable so i hope you got it so if now i try to you know make man dot man equals to nil so i hope it would get the initialize so let's see what happens the project is running right now so here you can see that myank is being deinitialized and i hope this book if i make this book as nil this instance called book will also get deinitialized from the memory because each one of them is not referring towards them in a strong manner now i have made i have made those references as as much weaker as i can and now i can deinitialize any of the instance whenever i want to okay so so guys that's how we break these retain cycles and one more thing to remember is we need to test our code time after time to just check that if we are making any errors like this or not it could happen to anyone so we need to make sure that we are not creating any retain cycle in our project so friends if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe my channel for more such videos in future so see you in the next one bye bye jai hind